Hey guys, welcome to day eight of 25 days of Christmas with TJ 2023. So continuing along with the more modern diesels in the three rail scale part of my collection, today we're going to take a look at my MTH Premier Conrail Dash 8 that I've kind of Frankensteined a little bit. Um, this was an engine that I actually was on my way back from vacation over the summer and Tom had hit me up and said, hey man, found a Conrail Dash 8. It's a dummy, but it's a really good price. So I'd been hunting one, hunting for one forever, and so I jumped on it, grabbed it immediately. Problem is, for some reason, like in the last year, Conrail had become super popular and absurdly priced. I mean, some overly used, wore out engines, and people were wanting and asking four or five hundred dollars for them, and I'm just not going to do that. Um, this one, I picked up the dummy, paid a little bit more for the dummy than I wanted to, but it was to me shipped for two hundred twenty bucks. I was like. Okay, that's better than 500 for a wore out one. Um, and then I had a Dash 8 that I robbed, scavenged, and made it a powered engine. And then did some other stuff to it to make it a little bit more unique and a little bit more detailed to me. But, you know, huge shout out to Tom for actually finding it. Um, again, sometimes you just got to make do with what you can get in the hobby and, and build your own. So I was lucky in that fact. But let's go ahead and take a closer look and dive in on this Conrail Dash 8. Frankenstein. So as we take a closer look here, you can see that it is a fixed piloted engine now. I was actually very fortunate and was able to find one. And the very last one that MTH had in stock on their parts website, it's actually for the Canadian National leaser engines that they did were actually were Conrail engines at one point. Um, it was already painted, already set up. The blues match perfectly, as you can see. So I was super excited to be able to find that. And um, going off of what we talked about yesterday on the Mark I design, if you will, for air hoses, this is the more updated design where I actually have some pretty nice detailed um, brake hose ends and connections that are actually die cast little pieces. Um, they look a lot nicer on there than the little tiny plastic ones and kind of the shady way that I, I did it. But it looks a lot better now. Um, the handrails on this engine, the one on the cab and then the front handrail, I actually uh, took brass wire and bent those myself and painted them white. Very painstaking process, but it got done. So again, this was a non-powered engine. It was a lighted dummy, but it was non-powered. Um, I converted it over to a full powered engine. Um, had to swap trucks, wire up the two rail wires to be able to have the common circuit. Um, put all the lights in, ditch lights in. Um, there's a gentleman on one of the, on Joker's Discord server uh, by the name of Points Trains on there who uh, makes up little wiring kits for the red marker lights. I do have the kit to go in this engine. Um, I need to do a little bit more work with it, but eventually it'll have it to where the red marker lights, when the engine, when I stop it and put it in reverse, the headlight will turn off and the red marker lights will turn on in the front, very similar to how Conrail did have them set up. And uh, the front pilot is fixed. The rear is still swinging. Um, I did not have the opportunity to be able to get a rear pilot, but that is something to do in the future. But for now, I mean, all you ever really notice, and it's a lead engine, so all you're going to notice is the front really anyway. So going with it um, is a Conrail SD80 that was or is my grandfather's. Uh, I guess it's been on long-term loan to me for two or three years now. but it pairs well with it. Um, obviously, I mean, Conrail Dash 8s and Big Macs, you can't, uh, can't go wrong there. But let's go ahead and uh, fire these two up and get a run around the layout. 